Hey guys, I thought I'd do a little uh, finishing video. Um, I'm trying to uh, plug the hole in this case. The Turbo 350 kick down, or some people call it the detent cable. Where that passes through the case over there, because I am not running a kick down cable. Um, just in case you haven't seen my other video, it's kind of an older video where it's talking about de uh, deleting your detent or kick down cable. The real, the the real, only real benefit to a kick down cable is that when you're driving and, and want to accelerate fast or brisk enough that you need to go down to another gear to hit that acceleration point is without the detent cable you have to manually click your shifter to make it do what you know do what you want it to do you're not hurting your clutch packs or your transmission in any way by not having that kick down cable you just have to know hey if i'm in a situation where i need to really get up and move i need to manually click this thing down and, and make it happen because when you put your shifter or your what they call that, I think they call it crow's head or some crazy thing. But when you put the valve body in manual low, it increases your valve body pressure the same as when you use a detent cable. Now, is it probably easier on the transmission, more user friendly to just have a detent cable? Yes. I hate running them up through there. I just It's just a hassle that I choose not to mess with. And I like to shift my vehicles, so kicking it down if I need to is not a problem for me. But if you're in a situation where you're gonna have people driving your vehicle that don't you know, shift like that, then go ahead and by all means put the detent cable on there, get it hooked up and adjusted to your uh, throttle bracket on your carburetor or your fuel injection throttle body whatever I just choose to drive it without but therein lies my problem you have to have a some people call them expansion plugs some people call them uh, freeze plugs but basically you need a small 2964 expansion plug to drive in that hole I can't find them anywhere. I think I can order them off of Amazon and get them from Summit Racing, but I found a Dorman part number 555-004 that is the stupid expansion plug, some people call them cup plugs for whatever reason, that will fit that hole in the case and make it sealed so it doesn't leak every part store lists you can look it up on their website and when you go to check out it says unavailable unavailable i went to napa i went to advance auto parts i went to o'reilly's every one of them dorman 555-004 here's the picture here's the description proceed to check out nothing unavailable they can't even ship it to your house so then i went back to napa did a because they have a feature on the napa website where you can cross-reference it or move you know see if there's any other manufacturer let's see it was sealed power i think sells the same size plug under a different part number and it was like sep 381 something i'll have to look it up at some other time same situation shows it on their website you go to check out unavailable they can't even ship it to you I'm like okay i know from experience from you know i've ran several turbo 350s in my life built in various levels plugging that hole is not that uncommon people do it all the time so I finally, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to try to find some other way to do it. You know, moving on, I'm not going to mess with it. So anyway, I will find a way to plug off this hole over here on the side where that detent cable goes through. But I wanted you guys to see this. 
I'm going to try to uh, install this B&M uh, deep pan for the last time and get it, uh, oh, I'm going to try to get it all uh, torqued down because I am absolutely worried about over tightening these pans because it's so easy to, uh, what am I saying, it's so easy to uh, squash these gaskets and misshape, get them misshapen and stuff like that. You see, I'm struggling with this thing, but I want to make sure I don't cross thread any of these bolts. Because I had one over here in the corner that was trying to give me a heartache where I was, um, went to start the bolt in it and it was a little bit uh, rough, so I had to basically clean the threads on that one uh, hole right here. It was actually a little bit off. I don't know if someone had uh, run that thing in before and uh, messed it up, what the deal was with that, but uh, I had to run that in. See, like right now it's really loose these things started and I admit having it up on the end like this isn't the most optimum way to do this so I wanted to make sure I got everything hand tightened so we didn't have any cross thread situations or anything like that and then of course if you'll if you're thinking ahead over here on your driver's side where your shifter cable is going to be mounted you're going to have to uh, remove a couple of these bolts because you got to use that little spacer there's a spacer that goes between the pan and your bolt and your bracket you'll have to uh, go back and remove those which is no big deal but I just want to get this pan sealed and torque down to 13 foot pounds so that I know it's not going to leak I was tempted to put some, uh, oh, like a Vaseline. I used to have some of that spray on, uh, it's kind of like a gasket cinch. I think Edelbrock used to sell a uh, version of that gasket cinch. But uh, apparently I've either used it, loaned it out, or lost it. Because I can't find it anywhere. And if I'd have been thinking, I would have had my uh, extension in here, my extension with the little grooves on it. I probably could have got these right in a little bit quicker. One of the problems with having to do everything with your left hand is because not everything, you know what, you've heard the expression, this is a right-handed world. Until you've been forced to be left-handed, it's absolutely hard to understand how right-handed our world really is. And yes, since I got, I started out right-handed and then ended up being left-handed, uh, it's just amazing. You know, all the times we were in school, and teachers were uh, trying to make people right-handed. Like I can remember when I was in school, uh, teachers wouldn't let you be left-handed. They would tell you, you know, that's the wrong hand. You don't get to do it like that. It was absolutely crazy when you think about it now. Uh, telling a kid, Oh, you can't be left-handed. They would no more do that now than a man on the moon. You know, that sounds dumb because that's an old saying from the 60s or whatever before they got there. But it's just crazy how they used to treat people so differently. You know, when I was a kid, 
left, if you were left-handed, you were an outsider, and they wanted you, by gosh, to conform to the right-handed world, and they would make you do it. You didn't have a choice. All I'm doing is just running these down. I'm not trying to tighten them or anything. My new impact driver, quarter inch, been wanting one of them for a while. But I'm going to go get the torque wrench, set it to 13 pounds, and rock this thing out and be ready to uh, probably hammer that uh, governor cover back on there because that's the one without the little metal bale or the little hoop that holds it on. It's just held on with uh, compression and an O-ring. But I wanted you guys to see that installation of the uh, deep b and pan and that weird little pickup that's on there. Uh, I think they could have done a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit better job on that pickup design, but that's the one that came with the pan, so I want to make sure and get it down at the proper, you know, depth to take advantage of that extra capacity, so. Um, as far as which torque converter I'm going to install, I want to use the new 2200 stall, even though it's like a eBay special Rebel, per, uh, I want to say it's called Rebel Performance or something along that line. At least it's new. It's brand new. It's never been run. 2200, like a, I think it's a 12 inch 2200 converter. But it doesn't really stall enough for the camshaft I'm wanting to put in the engine. Because if you were, if you look at my other videos, I picked up that General Kinetics 300-300 uh, hydraulic cam. I, uh, I'm going to try to make that happen because I'm wanting to pull those heads off, get the positive seals installed, upgrade the valve springs, probably elongate the push rod slots because when you start getting a 500 plus lift with the 1-6 ratio rockers, you really need to elongate your push rod holes in your head on them old school small block heads. So I'm probably going to get that all pulled out tomorrow, uh, elongate those push rod holes, run them into Jack at a performance machine, have him machine those um, tops of my guide so I can use positive seals because we, uh, the. <laughs> I don't understand why the guys are using as much oil as they are because they actually measured within spec but we put brand new Ferrero stainless steel valves in those heads thinking that okay this will tighten it up even more we should be good to go but with an o-ring setup and no positive seal that thing just it just sucks oil on the exhaust side and I'm just sick of it so I'm going to pull those heads off, put uh, positive seals on them, make sure there's no damage to the valve seats or the valves from my nitrous experiment, and uh, upgrade the springs to handle up to 550 lift, because that new cam with my 1.6 rocker arms is like a 540, 543 lift. So Anyway, I want to put a little thumpy thump uh, cam in my engine. And because of that, I'm going to filter all the fluid that's coming out of my Winner's Choice 3500 stall. And as long as I can run it through a paint filter and find absolutely no debris, I'm going to put it in this transmission. Because uh, the other transmission, the only failure was I rolled that sprag. So hopefully there's no debris in it. If there is... 2200 going in, no questions asked. So, anyway, that's where I'm at on my my absolute score on my real rebuilt Turbo 350. Uh, I guess every once in a while, good things happen. Knock on wood. I got some right here. Thanks for watching. We'll just keep building and keep turning wrenches until we can make some noise. Thank you.